foot position. Four point game, 12 25 to play here in the first half. St. Louis, a lot of teams thought, a lot of people. You know, I mean, he's, he's hard. He's a hard teacher. And he said, there's a difference. We don't do something to our players, we do things. Yeah, it's 21 18, and boom, it's 27 18. That's the value of the three point shot with multitude of players who can take them. St. Louis had just the flop warning there, and before that last stoppage of play when Gregovich had the blood there was a warning to the bench of St. Louis as well uh, his big men in the last couple of games but has challenged his team all year ever since Javante Perkins went down with his injury here's Thatch on the beautiful like they won the league the first yeah. year <laughs> nearly five minutes into the second half Collins Hargrove for three it's good and knocks it in this is an educated player. He knows what he's doing at all times. Yeah, and they're 8 of 10 from the floor in the second half. And One through four on the pick and roll. Collins now seven seconds to shoot. Inside O'Coral. Gets it in tight. High off the glass. for Two consecutive trips down the court where he's missed a three. Something to keep an eye on. So far, we have not seen one wide open jump shot. Everything contested. Kulabali. That wasn't expected. Oshuni on the bench gives it Jenderson. That played a 2-3 zone and really extended the defense. Let's we'll see if St. Louis can get somebody going besides Francis Socorro. He has four out of four. Talking to the court, talking to Coach Ford and Coach Schmidt, and here's what they had to say about the half. Coach Ford frustrated with the turnovers. A repeat similar. Boy, he's still quick. He looked like he was back in his playing days at Kentucky. And not happy. Jimerson already two threes. And just checking into the game, getting that rebound, Terrence Hardrove. Collins has been taking the ball to the hoop. Jimerson has three of those. Now four. Shuni to get going. Lofton lost control. They had Jimerson out in front. Collins finds him. A little bit too late. Step back three. Batch to Okoro. No points in this second half after 14 of the first. Jimerson has five. Make it contact here with Okoro inside. Yeah, straight up and down by Okoro. The foul is right there. That spreads the court and allows those drives. Collins, you can see already just such a pass first player inside to Okoro. Has five. Second to Thatch, who has six. And well, remember when Layla talked to Travis Ford? He said, I think they're just trying to figure each other. You bring back Collins, Perkins, Jimerson. Tell me I'm wrong, Paul. Dayton and St. Louis next year, the favorites. With the shooting ability and size, and then you can really pass the ball, three assists a game. Williams, the senior from Toledo. A beautiful look to Jimerson. He'll pull up mid-range. I'm over St. Louis, but VCU has won nine of the last ten between the two schools. Rams come in on an eight-game winning streak. Jimerson, quick fire, three. This is the best time of year as a college basketball player. You put in your work, you are who you are as a player and as a team, and now it's just make plays. Ooh. Curry missed the three. Linson clears the glass. Collins head up the floor. Jones wide open. Jump hook he got. He wants no part of those guards ripping at the ball out by the free throw line. Got some. Still looking to get Williams some help. Strong finish by Nick Kern Jr., the St. Louis native. The clock coming up on four minutes to go with an 11-point lead.
pitch. Final bucket in the country in blocks this season. Martin and Antoine Walker have been great complementary pieces for the Metro Twins. Back for three, and he felt like this game was right in their hands for Rhode Island. Only down two, and they got the stop. And now Lucnez Blue for St. Louis tonight. He can really score and has a quick draw shot. Collins dumps it inside, and the first bucket of the night. One of the really great cerebral head coaches in college basketball. Nothing but respect for Chris Mooney. There's Collins no. again with another out. No. Nesbitt's got to work harder to want the ball. Well, Collins still has it, gets it over to Hargrove. He palms up a three-pointer. That's energy. That's Nesbitt, number 15 in blue. But a huge spark for this team tonight. Collins. No. Oh. No. no. Unbelievable. Left side short. Collins has it. Billikens, the top rebounding team, currently in the 8-10. That's for three. Yes, sir. The ball, that's the rebound. His third tonight. Collins kicks it. Nesbitt for three. Got it. Cameron Brown, and he's got four. How much do you do there? It's pretty good defense. Backdoor look to Gibson. Jimmer. Largest lead was 11 for Slu. And that now is cut to six with under 12 to play. Collins to a corner on a push. So Collins matched up there with Bishop. Keeps his dribble, calmly waiting. What a feed to a court. It's tonight. I'm tired just watching. Yeah. Because he does so much. I mean, he really guards. He's underrated as a defensive player. What a look. Lee, unhappy with the way Nesbitt started in that assignment. Where's you, Lee, start off hot. And that's, and that's a really good play by Huffman. He had an open three, but he didn't take it. Alex to drive the ball to the basket, as we said. He doesn't have to be a lawyer, he just has to be help. Setting screens. And they're not timid screens, by the way. Hargrove, he'll take a three for St. Louis. That's off the front edge. St. Louis trying to get a little spurt going here. What a pass from Collins! Collins now. Working on Lanier. Put under. Okoro off the glass and in. Over Thatch. Hands it off to Nesbitt. Collins. Nesbitt. He'll try a three. Got it! Short. Okoro. Already with three boards for Slu. Collins wants to push. Sees a lane. Kicks it out. Wide open Nesbitt. Yes! Grim. Mamadou. Decore. Grad transfer from Rutgers. Nesbitt, another. Why not? His score, who's hit a three tonight, but you look at how they recruit, it's from the state of Pennsylvania. Yeah, I mean, we all know it's tough up there. It's Jefferson. To shut down Clark and see how that plays out the rest of the half. Collins picks up the dribble, leans in, kicks it out. That's for three. Guys. The luck to Felds. Right. John Duff. And you look at it, I mean, you know, in recent memory, not going way back. Be no good, and neither team is going to shoot a tremendous amount of threes, but when they shoot them, they want to make sure they count. That's nice cut. I talked about how excited we were to call a game in this place. This feels like old school college basketball. Collins dumps it off to a court. A little bit better in those pick and rolls. St. Louis trying to attack this different look on defense from St. Louis had won six straight games before St. Bonaventure came into town, ended that winning streak, and now it's the Bonnies that have won two dribbles. That's what St. Bonaventure wants to do. They want to trap on the second dribble. Well, she misses the rim on that one. Collins up ahead. It's Jimerson. Yeah. Especially amongst the trees. They've got great touch around the rim. Okoro hands it off to Collins. Collins back to Okoro and Okoro. Offensive rebound for the Bonnies. Collins again the pocket pass. Collins cut it to six. Collins the cutting thatch and that is for a teammate. I call it a senior play. That's really some action you typically see just from other classmen. Okay. This zone has really started to slow down this St. Louis offense. 
Jimerson from the deep. St. Louis this season. And they're just running their man offense right now, even against this matchup zone, but has had no effect here. Great. Team, but I mean these misses are absurd. This looks like down the shore at the boardwalk where the ball doesn't fit through the hoop I mean you, you got to put one of those in And saying they've got to Try to slow down st. Louis Kobe Brea quick three was no good nice feed to Winston
Okoro picks it up, and here come the Bills. Their first possession of the night. Yuri Collins wasting no time, slipping. There's Okoro, there's a flush, and there's the... Had a couple, two, three possessions in a row where he made yeah. big impact, and it was a turning point in that game on Sunday. Collins to the corner, Gibson. Jefferson is second. And somebody from way out of state. You know, you take the local kid and give him a chance. Back door, what a pass. And now Yuri Collins is one of the Collins under 15 on the shot clock. Linson setting the pick. Jimerson the floater and it drops. Collins up the floor for Slu. Inside, Okoro. And he finishes. And for Yuri Collins, that is good looks at all. Well, I thought it was interesting on their game against Rhode Island. They got a lot of penetration to the basket. What a pass. Wow. What? Digits get in at half. At single digits, we'll see what we can do here in the second half. Collins looking for help. Gets it. Okoro. Nice. Makes the three. It's just a, a double error there that uh, just drives coaches nuts. Yes. Alley oop Great to look. Okoro. And that's high. Next week. Spinning. Oh, what a move there. Brand Freeman, the freshman from Washington, D.C. Collins wants to push. It's his first bucket of the second half. He's got a game high 23. Collins thought about a quarterback yeah. pass, but elected to put it in his back pocket. As it takes. He's got a 10-footer. There's Freeman on the baseline. Got it. Freeman is full point. Coach Ford is. He no. wants to stop on defense. But the game's definitely got into a nice flow back and forth. But GW's going to have to find a way to get some stops. Collins to Gibson. Jimerson. He's jump shots. Doesn't really like to low post. And he's the best reader. Collins. He's up. Powers it to the basket. Here's Kelly. Austin. He's loose. Gibson. Jimerson. And Collins. Mark Rowe. The alley-oop. New mass defense. Javon Garcia for three. No. And Collins. Up the floor for Slu to Gibson. Kick to Fred Thatch. Under five to go here in the first half from Shapitz Arena in St. Louis. Collins bumped. Good for St. Louis throughout this first half. Billikens have opened up an eight-point lead. Their largest of the day. Collins is running. Splits the defense. Great Gibson. Fine. Correct that. Nope. Wide open there. Could knock it down. Billikens with Collins here. Now Thatch. Ball fit. They've got to mix things up a bit. And there's Nesbitt. And he's short. But Collins has it. Comley. Cross court pass. Picks it up for St. Louis U. He's on the floor with Thatch, Collins, Okoro. And Gibson Jimerson ready to show performance that you're going to see night in and night out. Oh, the block. Okoro. As Garcia was trying to finish. Nice look. Nice job by C.J. Kelly not to quit on the play. Slew right now in the midst of a 22 run. And they have opened up a 63-35. Now Kelly leaning in. They let him play off the side of the backboard. Nesbitt has it. Slew with all the momentum right now. Complete lockdown performance coming into the game. They have to leave this gym in the next eight minutes, having done some of those things to build on that moving forward. Gibson, Jemerson.
an intervention. You need your teammates to pick up the slack sometimes, and sometimes, you know, to help you because you can't gut one guy can't guard you in Collins all game. Off the four, tried to get a little closer. Antrell Charlton with his first basket, the sophomore from a small town just west of Jacksonville, Florida, transferred from Indian River. And Akora, the leading rebounder for St. Louis, yanks that one away. Hargrove around. Three. Off the Ohams miss, Okora on his knees, finds Collins. Now Jordan Nesbitt, who's been quiet today. And he let the offense create the shots for you yeah. instead of trying to force them on your own. They give Dayton an awful lot of credit in that game because their defense and pressure is outstanding. And it's left to go here at the Chaffetz Arena. The St. Louis lead is nine. Francis Okora on the hook shot over Ohams. Made it look good, didn't he? Cora inside once again, and nothing Ohams could do about that one. He had St. Louis leading by eight. Again, Cora, and this time the and one. Just careless with the ball, or, or you took your eye or your mind's eye off of the possession that was at hand. Also helps to have a He had 14 rebounds against Iona, and he gets his first one here. A transfer from Oregon. I mean, this kid inside is a physical beast. Nesbitt. That shot. Here comes Collins, hearing, bumping. Hargrove for three. For the freshman, makes a mistake. You don't try to throw a trespass. You throw it up to the rim. You let Duran just go slam that thing home. Jimerson for three. Got it to Lewis. And they had some great players last year, Tom. And uh, he did a tremendous job of, of, of making himself a household name. There's that backdoor action we talked about. Talking to this one, you better coaching him. Playing what a player without a player of the year candidate <laughs> and getting back to that. He had to change a lot of things. Not he's not in there, but how about in the stats as Grant does. There's Collins. Bounce pass down low to Okoro. Gets everybody off their feet. Oh, that's, been, that's been waiting to happen the entire game, and they just wear you down, and eventually they're going to get it. Going a little bit too fast. But Collins is really not even looking at the rim. No, he's not. <laughs> that's a travel, too. But Okoro, he's so good. I mean, again, imprint on the game, and really hasn't had to do it from a scoring standpoint and has a great attitude at that back that game. 12 turnovers in the first half, Scotty. They're averaging 12.8 yeah. a game. Yeah, that Travis Ford's not going to be happy with that. Nice curl. Now, Scotty, that's 6'4 and long length against 6 foot Yuri Collins. Yep. Three up, Hargrove. Yes! Tara! Loader. Too strong. Push off inside. No call. They let him play, and Joseph there to clean it up. Billikins run. They answer. It's in Jeff. Winchester, Virginia. Big fellow with a beard. It's a great, nice look. Great beard. Definitely all American beard. And he's got all American touch around the rim. He's one of the best. Colin Burton working down low. Turnover. Here comes St. Louis. Collins on the attack. You see his eyes. He's looking. Dish down low. Jim. 0 for 3 on the afternoon so far. St. Louis with a four point lead with 7.50 to go here in this first half from Chaffetz Arena. If you don't, you stop a transition. 15 foul for Richmond as Gilliard now checks back into this ball game. He's scoreless, got a donut. Nice look inside from Collins and Jimmer with the bucket, his fifth point of the afternoon. Oh, no. 14 left in the game. You've got 13 points. He is a guy who could go off at any time. That's a Coro. That's an end one for a Coro. Need one shot to go down for you to get hot. Collins. Look at operating oh, traffic. Dished. What? Okay. End up being an unbreakable record if it happens, right? We might never see that again. Perhaps. Nesbitt. Right corner, three. And open. Well, Jabari Smith currently on the bench right now. He picked up a foul a few moments ago. And this game, I don't want it's, it's been chippy. It's a three-point lead for the Tigers. And Coach Pearl, he's, he seems to be having trouble screaming for the destructions. It's for 13 Auburn and St. Louis from Shapitz Arena. Get Alex Tobario, Avery Johnson, our entire CBS crew. And working at Collins, the late nation's leading assist man with a basketball here. Sophomore from right here in St. Louis. Oh, beautiful pass into Smith. 
Can't finish. Collins in transition. Two-handed jam to Hargrove. What a beautiful mistake on defense. You don't want to give him any space. It's a tie game, and Jimerson hadn't even gotten going. Here's Hargrove for three. Especially with, you know, a, a, a guy that's shooting, you know, close to 80% from the free throw line. 7-0 run for the Tigers. Oh, City! Loves to slip picks. There it is. Collins gets it into Hargrove. Spins, jump hook, can't get it. Done. No! Rebounds. If you're going to miss shots, that's an opportunity to go get it on the glass. St. Louis, a terrific rebounding squad. Already's different agendas, but really, it's the result that matters. Both really looking for a win. And really not impressed very much with the perimeter shooting of either team. That's why that perimeter D is going to be so important. Gibson Jim went down in the first half of the first exhibition game, a left knee ACL. As Nesbitt sizes up the... So, TJ was at the top 100 camp when he was in high school, and I spent a week with him then, so I'm very familiar. Yuri Collins saw the alley up for a court. Fertile recruiting grounds here in St. Louis. And Yuri was the point guard for the day he stepped out of the court campus. Okora runs it down. Collins finding an open thatch. Keep an eye on Okoro. Set play. I wouldn't be surprised if he gets involved. Collins to Jimerson instead. Challenge of trying to make a comeback against a Yuri Collins-led team is they're not going to turn it over. They're going to run good offense with... Here is Yuri Collins, who has 10 of St. Louis's 11 assists on the day. Hargrove again in. Jones had it stripped by Akora. Collins leading the charge. And Jimerson. Have a lot of scoring. Martin Linson now has four fouls for St. Louis. He checks out of the game. Jordan Nesbitt. St. Bonaventure, the, the preseason favorite. That's a casual look. Yuri Collins with a shot clock in single digits finds net power to make a comeback, but they are doing some good things at both ends. I like the fact that when your shot's not going, they have not quit on the defense. Billikens and play in transition. That is their only chance to come back. That time he lost it, it found a Cora and a Cora Classic college town like Durham, North Carolina, or Chapel Hill, but so many appealing qualities. All about that, Collins to it. Jaden Zachary on the miss. Gibson Jimerson leading all scores on the night with 19 points. But let's go back to what, what makes us, uh, what butters the bread. St. Louis uh, scored 70 or more points in each of its first nine games. First time they've done that in school hit. St. Louis, all five points in the game. Coming back, looking for more. Yuri Collins leads the A-10 in assists per game. Looks for his first. And the free throws, as we mentioned. Top score in the game right there, 24 for St. Louis. Jimerson has 13. And the spinning lefty. Muzinski had that dunk at the end of the half. Is he going to start putting up points on the board? Is Bill, Ben Shepard going to start putting up points on the board? And can Will Richard keep it going? Digits, they enjoyed a lead like that for a lot of the first half. Their largest came at 18 to 3. Collins. Boy, that is just a... I'm just inside of two minutes left. Top scorer wears number 24. Jimerson, he's with it now. He has 18. And now he... All CUSA defensive team. He scored 1,500 career points. Back door, Gibson, Jimerson, what a feed by Collins. They want to sure shoot it in the first five to seven seconds and really increase the number of possessions in this game. That'll play right into the pace that Andy Kenny wants. Here's Collins. So we're going to do here with five seconds, Collins, the inbound. Okoro. Inside to him, little jump. times when you just put your hand up, guy knocks down a shot and you just pat him on the rear and go to the other end. Well, they're letting him play here tonight. Yeah, I like that too. I do too. Oh yeah, what a piece. 
Yeah, it's a, this is the kind of schedule that Travis Ford put together, thinking that this is an NCAA tournament team. Nice read. Linson, ball up on the beast, staying with the zone, which seems to have frustrated the Billikens. Linson lost it. Now Collins kicks it. Jones for three. Yes! Under 15 on the shot clock. Yuri Collins now to Martin Linson. Working against the seven-footer. Tough shot. Drops Martin Linson. Oh, great pass from Collins. Finally, his first. Able to claw back. So it's a 10-0 run now for the Billikens, and they have a chance to add to it. Nesbitt, quick release. Oh, man, that's gorgeous. St. Louis trying to bleed all of the shot clock. Top. And Mike, the Billikens earn this with some hard work, effort, and oh intensity tonight. Look, look at Collins. And there's the extra. Nice skip. Are you kidding me with that release? Like that pass. You know how hard that is to do? Gibson Jimerson, he did Those threes happen so often because Yuri Collins has eyes in the back of his head. Most players can't see that. At the top of the key, a player wide open. After Strong, could not hit. Hargrove Jr. That's a quick shot from Strong. Collins, dangerous. On a three-on-two break. And a great find in a lay-in. Hey, Collins, another takeaway. So dangerous in the open floor. What a bounce pass and the flush. These are calling it a lot tighter. Use it to your advantage. Four fouls apiece for each team. Nesbitt leans into a three. And Jordan Nesbitt. Shot clock down to single digits. Collins on the push. Jimerson couldn't handle it. That's a killer. Shot clock again. Down to three. The basket. Inside out. Get Linson a touchdown on the block early. Collins in the lane. Picks it up. Now Linson in the lane with the left hand. And it's 2 nothing. St. Louis it for Slew. Hargrove picked up his fourth board in this game. Here's Yuri Collins behind the back. Back door. Gibson Jemerson. Billikens lead for Cancun tomorrow. What a feed there to Collins. He'll sling it out to Hargrove. Hinson. Now to Collins. Ten on the shot clock. Nice speed. Linson the flush. Rebounds for Martin Linson. Now up the floor, Yuri Collins. He's guarded tightly by Williams, and that's it. Collins. Now to Hargrove, may have traveled, no call with the left hand. And his footing. And we're down to six on the shot clock. Here's Collins to Hargrove for three. Got it! I mean, that's, that's nine and change assists for every turnover that you have. That's incredible. Now, obviously, competition's got something to do with that. Nice execution. And he drained that one from distance. Memphis now up 8-7. Tigers immediately with some pressure. This is their first time in st stepping up to, to much better competition as well. So St. Louis has the numbers right here. Collins. What else to do? They want to make St. Louis play defense for 30 seconds and they get the turnover. Yuri Collins to Hargrove, takes it in. And Alaruzzo, 6'9", senior, checks in for the Panthers. They'll say, well, I'm just going to take my talents out somewhere else. Collins picked up his dribble. Okoro inside and finishes. Valley Conference, his exactly. players develop. Maybe not recruited highly to some of the top right. programs coming out of. Oh, my goodness. Elevating. COVID redshirt year. Right. And if they come back. Collins leading Gibson Jemerson, and he finishes. Gibson Jemerson with 12. Bro. Looking for help and gets it in Collins. 15 on the shot clock. First possession for SLU of this second half. Just gets you in points off of turnovers. Ended up forcing 22.
turnovers, and that allowed them to play with pace, and that guy right there really made it all happen. Nice dish by Yuri Collins. And his talent, his athleticism, his polish, it's been a while since we've seen a Billiken. Hargrove, the finish underneath. Terrence Hargrove. Senior knocks down the three, cuts a lead to five. Back door. Gibson Jefferson, the beat. Is it with uh, Kip Keller, third year player from Principia High School here in St. Louis? And men's soccer finished the regular season undefeated for the first time since. And they are seven of seven. Yuri Collins inbounds to Jefferson. Maybe last night, and he is a very athletic 6'9, 235 pounds, and they're going to need some production from him. Rashad Williams for three. About uh, what two weeks ago or so? It was. It was a couple weeks ago, and just very exciting to see how the community comes around and rallies around. And you're going to go at Memphis. You're going to play a Belmont team, which is a perennial NCAA team. Here at Shea Fitz, you got Boston College, you got Auburn as Jimerson teams that are in the top 25, and that'll start next week. Great luck, and Gibson Jimerson now with Memphis. And then you'll get Auburn at home on a Saturday in December. And uh, that's the 18th. Gibson Jefferson. He's been a man. Kind of has the whole package. Six foot six on the wing. Billiken fans are going to love Jordan Nesbitt. Martin Lemson on a feed by Yuri Collins. To Collins. Ten on the shot clock. Linson, the pick, mismatch inside. That's a nice two man game there. He called it. Bears up here early on. 13 to 10. Back door, Gibson. Three up by Chitu, and we'll go the other way. What a feed. What a feed. Yuri Collins to get said than done. Collins up the floor for Slu. Looks inside. Let's in the flush. Ooh, had Nesbitt there. Gets a little seam, kick it to Hargrove for three. Got it! Guys going after those loose balls, and oh, what a play here. What a play here! Hargrove, the recipient on the other end. Yuri Collins, the again by Yuri Collins. He says, all right, I'll get it that way. Collins up the floor. Gibson, Jemerson, splashes it. And Nesbitt with 10, so three Billikens in double figures. Here's Collins, they've got numbers, Hargrove has it. Oh, yes, sir! What a beat again! And the answer on the other end, Kyle Lude. Here's Thatch, right back at you. Billikens, but as I look on the floor, you've got four guys that have played together in AAU. Between Nesbitt, Midlands with a double-double. And trying to add to it here. Here's Nesbitt. The other way, and it drops. Just 